So how do you set up a WordPress website quickly? Elementor Hosting. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started with Elementor Hosting, how to use the Elementor Pro Site Builder, and how to manage and maintain your WordPress site. Elementor reached out to sponsor this video, so be sure to check out Elementor Hosting using the links in the description. To get started with Elementor Hosting, go to the Elementor Hosting landing page and select a plan that's a fit for you. I think the basic plan is going to work for most people, but if you have multiple websites, the grow or scale plan may make sense for you. After selecting your plan, go ahead and put in your billing information and then check out. When you get to this page, you can scroll down and click start creating your website. The great thing about Elementor Hosting is that it's an all-in-one solution for your WordPress site. You're getting managed WordPress hosting, a subscription to Elementor Pro, a forum builder, a pop-up builder, and powerful hosting features like daily automatic backups and an SSL certificate, all for a very reasonable price. Elementor Hosting is hands down the best hosting for Elementor sites. I've always been impressed by the value offered by Elementor Hosting, and they really make it simple to get started with your website. Next, I'm gonna give our site a name, and I'm gonna go with Chris trailer candles. There we go. I'll click next. And then we can select a kit for our website. An Elementor kit is basically a set of UI elements like fonts, colors, and page layouts that can greatly speed up the website development process. Kits are flexible, so you can change up things like the color and font after you pick a kit, but you'll still maintain the general aesthetic and feel of the kit. You can browse through the kits, and if you see one that catches your eye, you can click what's inside, and this is gonna let you preview what the page layouts look like. You can actually scroll on this one and get a live view of it, and and you can also see which layouts are included. So this one here is gonna be perfect for e-commerce. And once you've decided on a kit, you can just click start with this kit. Elementor will begin setting up your website and within a few minutes, you'll be ready to start building pages. Everything you need is automatically installed in the background. You'll have Elementor Pro pre-installed and the hello theme along with your pre-selected kit. This is a great time for a coffee break or a kombucha break. Ta-da, your site is ready. I'm going to click Let's Go. And you can click Edit with Elementor and this is gonna take you straight to the Elementor page builder for your homepage. Elementor is a drag and drop page builder, so everything you see here is exactly how the page is gonna look to your visitor. This floating box on the right side of the screen is our navigator, and this helps us visualize the structure of the page and makes it a lot easier to understand where the elements are placed. These top level elements are page sections, and we can skip to a section on the page by clicking it. Within sections, we have columns, and within columns, we have items. Getting familiar with the navigator is gonna be extremely helpful so you can properly understand the layout of your page and get comfortable with the pre-built pages of your kit. You can modify the properties of sections and columns by clicking it in the navigator and interacting with this left sidebar. Everything that I can change for this section is going to be in the sidebar under layout, style, and advanced, and I can also go in a section and click a column and also edit the properties of the column the same way. If I wanted to change the background of this column, I could do that here, and I can also change the alignment and margin of the column in the Advanced tab. Unless you're building a page from scratch, you probably won't need to modify the settings for a section or column, so be careful when making changes to things like margin unless you're an advanced user. To edit an item on the page, you can either click the item directly, and that's going to pop up the properties in the left sidebar, or you can select an item from the navigator. And to reorder an item on the page, you can either drag it in the navigator, so this is gonna put our heading below our button, or I can click an item and drag it on the page to be wherever I want it. Properties like text boxes can be edited directly on the page. It's kind of like a Word document. For each item, you can also customize the appropriate properties in the sidebar. For text, we can add a link, we can change the style like the color and typography or add a drop shadow, or we can get into advanced features like motion effects. Now, as you're building pages, you may wonder how you can select a another page and modify that. You may think that you can just click the page in the header and it's gonna take you to that page, but as you can see, that's not how it works. Now, you could exit to the main WordPress dashboard and go to the page selector and get to it from there, but that's a lot of work if you just wanna to get to another page within the Elementor editor. And thankfully, there is a better way to do this. What I like to do is use the Elementor Finder, and you can get to this by clicking the hamburger menu in the left sidebar and clicking Finder. Here, you can search for any page. I'm gonna search for the About page, 
And then I can just click it and I'm taken right to the about page to edit it with an Elementor and I didn't even have to go to the WordPress dashboard. Something else you can select without leaving this page is the subscribe button. It's free to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out when I put out new videos. The easiest way to build your website is going to be to use pre-built page layouts and sections from your kit, but what if you need to build a new page from scratch? Or what if you need to add a section onto an existing layout and you need some new content? You can take advantage of Elementor's pre-built blocks to make this much easier. Scroll down to the bottom of the page where you see this section with the plus button and click the folder. And here you can access Elementor's wide library of different blocks for different use cases. You can scroll through them, but there's a ton, so I like to narrow it down by category. You can select from call to action, clients, FAQ, team. There's a lot of different categories they have. I'll select a call to action, and you may be looking at this and thinking, well, this looks nothing like the kit I selected. But the cool thing is, when you select these sections, it's going to adapt it to the fonts and colors and general style of your kit. So I'm gonna try this one, I'll click insert, and as you can see, when it actually goes on the page, it's using the font from our kit, so we don't have to do a whole lot to modify and adapt it to the feel of our website. You may have to make some minor modifications to make it fit the feel of your site. Like, I might change this green color in the style section, but for the most part, block sections are pretty plug and play. If you want to edit things on your site like fonts, colors, and site identity, you can do this by clicking the hamburger menu on the left sidebar and going to Site Settings. Here we're able to access global colors and global fonts. These are colors that apply to the entire website. So you can see the color palette here that your kit is using. And for anything you wanna change, you can just click it, pick a new color, and then it's gonna change all the colors of every link on your website. And the same thing applies to fonts. You can see all the fonts laid out. You can just click one that you wanna change and you can select a new font from typography. Also under site settings, we can edit things such as the button styling and the site identity. This is where you upload the logo for your site, which will be displayed in your header and anywhere else you want your logo to be shown. Now, to modify your header or footer, you can select that under site settings and you can make minor changes here, but if you really wanna change the structure of your header, you can click this create header button, which will take you to the theme builder and you're actually able to use the Elementor page builder on the header itself so you can drag and drop elements around and get the header to look exactly how you want it. It's pretty neat. Now that you have a good understanding of the fundamentals of Elementor, I wanna show you how to take it further with forms. This is one of the built-in features of Elementor that saves you a lot of headaches. Normally, you would have to find a third-party plugin to do this, but with Elementor, it's all included. You can create contact forms, surveys, newsletter opt-ins, and more. To get started, create a new form element by searching for it and dragging it onto the page. By default, Elementor is gonna give us a pretty basic contact form, but we can customize all the fields in this section right here. I can add an item and I can choose from a bunch of different item types like text, email, a radio button, checkbox, really anything we wanna to do to customize the form. And that's what allows us to make things like surveys. To create an email list opt-in, you can go to actions after submit and click the plus button, then select your email platform of choice. I can select MailChimp and then I can go to the new MailChimp option that's created and enter my API key and audience so emails that are submitted in the form will automatically be added to my MailChimp list. As you can see, Elementor Pro is an amazing experience on Elementor hosting. You really don't even have to think about anything. The setup process is super straightforward and it's possible to never even have to touch the WordPress dashboard to build your website. Elementor hosting is high quality too. It's powered by Google and it's optimized, managed WordPress hosting that will keep your site performing at maximum speed. There are a couple of hosting features I wanted to cover, starting with backups. To manage this, go to the Elementor dashboard and hover over your website and click manage this website. Then you can scroll down till you see backups and Elementor hosting is automatically gonna backup your website every day. So if you're editing it and you make a mistake and you accidentally save over a page or something, you can go to the dashboard and pick the most recent backup, probably from the night before you started making the changes and you can just click restore and then Elementor can automatically restore your website to where it was before. 
You can also take advantage of staging environments to build and modify your website on a temporary subdomain. So if you've ever worked with WordPress before, you know that as you make your changes, you're probably checking the page in a new tab, seeing how things look. And if you're working on something like your homepage and you're using your main website, visitors are gonna see these changes in real time as you're editing your page. And you don't want your visitors seeing some half-baked page. So a staging environment solves that problem. I can go in the dashboard and under staging environment, I can create one and I'll just say that I understand the terms. They're gonna duplicate the site to a new URL, create staging, and that's gonna allow me to access my WordPress website on a temporary URL, make the changes, do my development, and then once I'm happy with everything, I can push the changes to the main website. So after you create your staging environment, you can access the details here. And then I'm gonna click manage staging. And once you've made your changes to the staging site and you're ready to go live with it, you can click push to live. And if you ever wanna access the database or SFTP credentials for advanced users, you can find both of those items by clicking the ellipsis button in the top right corner. And I'll click open database. This is gonna take us to PHP my admin and allow us to access the database. I'll just click continue here. And as you can see here, you're able to make any changes you need to the SQL database. Now for the SFTP credentials, go to the same ellipsis button and click show SFTP details. The details generated are only gonna be valid for 24 hours. So you're gonna have to come back to this screen every time you need these details. But I actually like this feature. I think it improves security so you don't have to worry about someone getting access to your password and modifying the files on your web hosting account. And if you ever need any help with Elementor, support is just a click away with this little chat widget right here. And here's the cool thing. Typically, getting help with WordPress can be kind of a headache. That's because there's so many different places you could reach out to. People typically start with their web host, but oftentimes the issue might be with your theme or page builder. And your web host could say, well, reach out to the theme developer because this is not our problem. And then you email the theme developer and they may say, everything's fine with the theme you need to reach out to the page builder plugin because it looks like you're using a third party page builder. And finally, when you email the page builder developer, they may say, okay, here's the issue and actually help you. But with Elementor, everything's in the same place. You're using Elementor hosting, you're using Elementor Pro as your page builder, and you're using the Elementor theme. So any issues that you have with WordPress, you can just come to the support right here, ask your question, and they'll be able to help you whether it's a hosting issue, a page builder, issue or a theme issue. One final thing you need to know in order to get your site ready to publish is the site lock. With Elementor hosting, the site lock is enabled by default when you first create your website. And when you're ready for your site to go live, you need to turn this off. So scroll down to where it says site lock and you'll see it's on. I'll just flip the switch to off and click unlock site. And that means that visitors and search engines can start indexing the site and you'll start to get live traffic. I'm really impressed with the features and value of Elementor hosting. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite options for beginners and I think it packs a serious punch for the price tag. If you'd like to get started with Elementor hosting, there's a link in the description below.